Hello students, welcome back to another chapter of English, chapter 10, The Banyan Tree. This story consists of two parts. Today we will study about first part of the story. In this story, the author narrates an incident of a fight between a mongoose and a cobra that he witnessed as a young boy while sitting under a banyan tree at his grandparents' house. The author was living in his grandparents' house in Dehradun. There was a huge banyan tree in the yard. The tree was home to squirrels, snails and butterflies. The author also made a platform on it for hiding and reading. His first friend was a small squirrel. He offered it piece of cake and biscuit. It grew bold and began to take out food items even from his pocket. During fig season, the tree was a very noisy place made by parrots, mina, and night angles and crows. From his banyan tree platform, the author used to look down at the world below. One day, he watched a fight between a mongoose and a cobra while sitting on the tree. इस कहानी में लड़का अपने दादाजी के साथ देहरादून में रहता था उस मकान के बगीचे में एक पुराना शानदार बरगद का पेड़ था उसे उस पर बैठने में आनंद आता था वहाँ से वो नीचे की दुनिया को देखा करता था क्योंकि दादाजी पेड़ पर नहीं चढ़ सकते थे अतः इस पर केवल लड़के का ही अधिकार था वहाँ पर एक गिलेरी थी जब उसे विश्वास हो गया कि लड़के के पास कोई गुलेल या बंदूक नहीं है तब वो उसका मित्र बन गया बाद में जब लड़का केक और बिस्किट लाने लगा वो शीघ्र ही उसके हाथ से दाने चुगने लगी बसंत में सब तरह की पक्षी पेड़ में के शाखाओं में आ जाते थे और वो बिक्स बगीचे में सबसे शोर भरा स्थान बन जाता था लड़के ने वहाँ पेड़ पर एक काम चलाओ प्लेटफॉर्म बना लिया था जहाँ पर वो अधिक तेज गर्मी ना होने पर दिन का तीसरा पहर बिताता था वहाँ बैठकर उसने बहुत सी किताबें पढ़ी थी जब उसका मन पढ़ने में नहीं लगता था तब वो नीचे की दुनिया को देखा करता था ऐसे ही एक तीसरे पहर उसने नेबले और कोबरा के बीच की प्रसिद्ध लड़ाई देखी द फाइट ऑफ द कोबरा एंड द मोंगूस इज ए क्लासिक ड्रामा ऑफ एन सीन इन इंडिया एंड द आउटकम इन लार्ज इज द सेम द मोंगूस इज नॉट इम्यून टू दस बाइट बट इज फास्टर एंड क्विकर इन मोशन देन द स्नेक The cobra assumes a posture of defense and attempts to reach the animal by a sweeping strike. But the quick moving mongoose jumps out of reach and comes at the snake from another direction. Before the snake can get into striking in position again, this constant movement tires and discourages the snake and the mongoose is finally able to leap in close and bury its teeth in the snake's neck. Usually severing the joints of its vertebrae. The author was at his grandparents' house, and he claimed that the banyan tree belonged to him, though the house owner were his grandparents. He said so because his grandfather was sixty-five years old and was unable to climb the tree. The author felt very happy and joyful to see the opened out branches of the tree which used to hang from the tree in bunches to the ground. These roots had formed loops. Various animals like squirrels, snails and butterflies were living in the tons of these loops. The tree was very old, older than the house and grandfather. It was as old as the city Dehradun. First of all, the author became friends with a small squirrel. He arched his back and smelled into the air. In the beginning, he did not like the author's invasion into his privacy. But when he realized that the author was not armed with anything to offend him, he became friendly. Soon, the author started bringing him tidbits of foods like cakes and biscuits. The squirrel started eating small morsels from his hands. Very soon, the squirrel started digging into the author's pockets for whatever he could find. He was a young squirrel, and his kin must have thought him to be a fool for trusting a human. In the spring season, the banyan tree used to be in full bloom. It used to be full of small red figs. Different birds like bulbul parrots. Moina and crows used to fight with each other over small things. 
their voices together used to make the place noisy in the garden in the fig season on the tree the author had made a platform of primitive style in the afternoon when it was not very hot he used to spend his time here he had put a cushion there which he had picked from the drawing room and was able to read at this place while leaning against the tree he had set up a small tree library and the books that he read there were Treasure Island, Huckleberry Finn, and the story of Doctor Dolittle. From here, he also watched the world under the tree. One day, he watched a fight between a mongoose and a cobra while sitting on the tree. Students, after watching the video clip, thoroughly read the first part of the story. Today, we will study about second part of the story. As you know that on the tree the author had made a platform of primitive style in the afternoon when it was not very hot he used to spend his time here he had put a cushion there which he had picked from the drawing room and was able to read at this place because of the hot summer everyone was indoors the boy was thinking of going to the pond and have a swim with the buffaloes and ramu Suddenly, a huge black cobra and a mongoose came out. The cobra was aware of the superb fighting skill of the mongoose. However, the cobra was no less. He was also fast and had sharp fangs of deadly poison. None of them knew that the boy was watching them. Other than the boy, two other spectators, a mina and a crow, were also watching them from the clump of cactus the mongoose opened the attack the crow and the mina also joined them in the fight and attacked at each other in a year but returned safely to the cactus twice the third time the mina returned safely but the crow was hit by the cobra the injured crow fell on the ground the fight between the mongoose and the snake was still continued Finally, the mongoose defeated the snake. The snake resigned and stopped struggling. The mongoose dragged and pushed it inside the bushes. The mina was watching all this. It gave a congratulatory thrill and flew away. तेज गर्मी के कारण हर कोई घर के अंदर था लेखक भी नींद और आलसी महसूस कर रहा था बल्कि वो रामू और भैंस के साथ तैरने के लिए तालाब का दौरा करने का फैसला कर रहा था जब उसने देखा कि कैक्टस के एक कोने से ये कोबरा और झाड़ियों से एक मंगूस निकल रहा है मंगूस झाड़ियों से बाहर आया और सीधे कोबरा के पास गया बरगद के पेड़ के नीचे एक खुली जगह में वो एक दूसरे के सामने खड़े थे साफ था कि दो चैंपियन के मध्य लड़ाई होने वाली थी कोबरा ने हिस आवाज करके जीव को तेजी से अंदर बाहर करते हुए कोबरा ने खुद को जमीन से उठाया और लड़ने और हमला करने के लिए अपने फन को फैला दिया कोबरा छह फुट लंबा था और नेवला करीब तीन फुट कोबरा ने अपना चौड़ा फन लहराया और नेवले ने अपनी पूछ लहराई बालक बगता के अतिरिक्त एक कौआ और एक मैना भी इस लड़ाई को देख रहे थे उन्होंने सब कुछ देखा और परिणाम देखने के लिए कैक्टस के ऊपर बस गए लेकिन वो सिर्फ लड़ाई में भाग लेने की बजाय संतुष्ट नहीं थे मैंने ऐसा दिखाया जैसे वो एक दिशा में बढ़ रहा हो कोबरा ने फन मारा परंतु इससे पहले कि वो उसे छू सकता नेवला कूद कर एक तरफ जा चुका था ऐसा करते हुए उसने सांप की पीठ पर काट भी लिया खून की कुछ बूंदे कोबरा की पीठ पर चमक रही थी ऐसे कई दौर हुए और हर बार जीत नेवले की हुई कौआ और मैना ने कोबरा के ऊपर हमला करने की कोशिश की लेकिन एक दूसरे से टकरा गए इसलिए वो वापस कैक्टस के पास आकर रोने लगे तीसरी बार फिर से पक्षियों ने कोबरा के ऊपर और हमला करने की कोशिश की लेकिन इस बार बदलाव हुआ और, और कोबरा ने पूरी ताकत के साथ कौआ के ऊपर हमला कर दिया लेखक ने देखा कि कौआ 20 फीट दूर गिर रहा है यह कुछ समय तक अपने शरीर को हिलाता रहा लेकिन फिर यह स्थिर हो गया और मर गया मैना कैक्टस के पौधे पर थी और उसने इसके बाद लड़ाई में हस्तक्षेप नहीं किया कोबरा कमजोर हो गया था और हार गया था नेवले ने निडर होकर हमला किया इसने अपने चतुर और तेज हमले के साथ कोबरा को समाप्त कर दिया और अंत में उसे मार डाला नेवले ने कोबरा के फन जकड़ लिया और उसे घसीटकर कर झाड़ियों में ले गया 
और मैना एक बधाई देने वाली ऊंची पीच वाली आवाज देते हुए वह उड़ गई लेट्स रीड द स्टोरी बिकॉज ऑफ द हॉट समर एवरी वन वॉज इन साइड द हाउस द ऑथर वॉज ऑल्सो फीलिंग स्लीपी एंड लेजी रादर ही वॉज डिसाइडिंग टू विजिट द पॉन्ड टू स्विम विथ रामू एंड द बफेलोस when he noticed a cobra coming out of a clump of cactus and a mongoose from the bushes the mongoose came out of the bushes and went straight to the cobra both the cobra and the mongoose came before each other under the banyan tree the cobra was well aware that the mongoose had superb fighting skills but he himself was also an experienced fighter and had deadly poisonous long sharp teeth thus it was a battle between two champs creating a hissing sound in its defiance moving his trunk quickly in and out the cobra raised itself from the ground and spread his hood to fight and attack the mongoose also showed his readiness to fight by brushing his tail and raising his hair participants in the fight were not aware of the author's presence in the tree but two spectators a mana and a crow were noticing clearly they witnessed everything and were settled on the cactus to watch the result but they were not satisfied with just watching rather they participated in the fight The cobra was trying to spell bind the mongoose with his movements but the mongoose was well aware of the power of its opponents so he fixed his focus on attacking the cobra at a point just below the cobra's hood and started the attack the mongoose made false quick movements very close to the cobra the cobra attacked and moved its hood down so quickly that it seemed the mongoose would not be saved but this small creature was quick to jump and move on one side it also bit the snake on its back and again moved away out of its reach the moment the cobra attacked the crow and mana threw themselves at him to come into conflict after making loud short noises of attack they came back to the cactus plant drops of blood were shining on the cobra's back cobra attacked but missed it the mongoose again jumped aside the birds again tried to attack the cobra but were collide with each other so they came back to the cactus crying third time again the birds tried to attack the cobra in the same manner but this time there was a chance they did not collide with each other the mana flew back to its shelter but the crow tried to continue the fight in the air and come back In the second trial the cobra also moved suddenly and attacked the crow with full force the author noticed the bird falling 20 feet away it kept shaking its body for some time but then it became still and died the mana was on the cactus plant and she did not interfere in the fight after this the cobra was weakened and defeated the mongoose attacked fearlessly it exhausted the cobra with its shrewd and first attack moves and finally killed it it caught the cobra from its hood and dragging it pushed it into the bushes the mana fell down to the ground and hopping about she reached the bushes giving a congratulatory high pitched sound she flew away